Hi, everybody. We are excited here to be here. This is the Missionettes, and we're doing a special video today for Mother's Day, because today is Mother's Day, and we all want to pour our hearts out to the mothers that we appreciate. And also, we're going to be uh, showing a video later. I want to say Happy Mother's Day to my mom. 94. She's going to be 95 in October. I'm so happy that I still have her and I love her so much. Thank you. And we're going to say prayer as we begin this video. Okay, so bow your heads in your homes and we're just going to open up in prayer. God, we thank you so much for today. We thank you for our moms and our grandmas and our aunts and the women in our life that pour into us. And today we just pray that you would uh, open our eyes and hearts so that we can bless them the way that we know that you would want us to. God, we love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hi. Okay, this is going to be a special video that's coming up for all the mothers on Mother's Day. And all the children are gonna say whatever they feel in their hearts to appreciate Mother's Day. And Mother's Day is special. So Deuteronomy 5.16 says, honor your father and your mother. But we're just gonna honor mom today. So here it is, video on the children the ones that were able to attend. Thank you. Good afternoon, girls. Hi, guys. You know, Kathy, she's a preschool teacher. And, well, you know me, Mary Ann. And this is the Missionettes. In the Bible, it tells you on Deuteron Deuteronomy 5.16, honor your father and mother. So, as we follow our commandments, we're going to honor our mothers. Think about it as a Mother's Day present for your mom. Since we can't really go out and really buy stuff right now too much, think about this video as a way to show gratitude to your mom. So just say something that why she is special to you. So I want everybody to think of good things to say. Everybody's going to get a turn and tell your mothers how much you love them what they what they do for you and how they pray for you and you pray for her so I want you to be open and uh, say something wonderful about your mom okay so we're gonna go one by one so everybody can um, have their own way and of saying things okay all right who wants to be first okay well then you want to do that Vivi first yes yes <laughs> Okay, Vivi will go first. Something of, uh, um, I love my mother and I want to say thanks for what she has done for us. <laughs> and I want to keep have, um, taking care of, of us and I want, yeah. And how much you love her? Yes. And what are you going to do for her special on that, on Sunday? Um, I'm probably going to make her coffee and we're probably going to clean for her. That's a good idea. What are you going to do for breakfast? Breakfast in bed. Very good. Okay, next. So I want to say about my mom is oh, that um, she's very <laughs> strong. <laughs> she's very strong and she's very supportive um, with everything you <laughs> do. Um, and you can just tell with everything you do that she just loves us, and yeah. Awesome. Um, I want to say what to my mom is thank you, and um, I love my mom because she's there for us, and she provides for us. She works very hard for us. All right, we're going to go to uh, Juana. I mean, Juanita's kids. Gabby, you want to go first? Okay, something I love about my mom, she always provides for us, and that she, I love the food she makes for us, and um, and I love that she always um, makes us, when we're down, she always makes us happy, and she always uh, makes me confident in myself. Very good. And you love her so much, right? 
Are you going to do anything special? Um, I'm thinking of drawing my mom a picture and um, making and, and, my mom and maybe just like picture. not trying to fight with my sisters and um, make and help her clean and take care of Anna. Very good. Okay. All right, Anna. Uh, you can speak up now. Anna, what? Why is mommy special to you? I want my mommy. She must have ghosts. And, and and I want to send my mommy back. Is that it? And you love her so much, huh? What do you love about mommy? You love mommy, right? I want to send my mommy is. So how much do you love your mom? This much? Show me with your hands. That's it. Good. Okay, now Natalie. Honestly, like out of the years that I've been through so much during school, like I could say that she's always been there for me, and like you know, she's always never like never let what anybody had to say like get to me, and she's not, honestly somebody who makes me feel more like better about myself, and she does do a lot for us, and. I'm trying not to cry. I know. I was just gonna say I see it in your eyes. Um, it's okay. Take a deep breath. I just know that we've been through a lot, and she's always made sure to provide for us as much as she could. Stop! You can make me cry. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Even though I can have the most like attitude with her, like I love her super much. She's just the honest thing, super funny. She's super sweet, and she's always there for other people, you know, and and there's times where she could honestly be, like, down on herself, you know, but I honestly, I love her as a person super much. <laughs> Are you going to do anything special for her? Um, I'm probably going to write her, like, letters on how much I love her and, like, draw her something, maybe, and maybe, like, try to clean up the whole room or something. <laughs> So that she doesn't have to worry about doing anything and she could just have the day to herself. Yes, that's wonderful. You could always rub her feet. Or that. She always wants me to do that for her. I want to do that for her. So maybe I'll, I'll do that for her. Let's have uh, Ruby. I just wanted to say I love my mom a lot and she is like my superhero. You know, she's done a lot for me and like helped me through thick and thin and she went through a lot and just like I just love her a lot so I just want her to know how much I love her. That's awesome. Are you gonna do anything special for her on Sunday? I made some gifts for her and then hopefully I'm gonna pick up a little bit around the house. Nice. Very good. And you help with the baby too, huh? Yes, I do help with the baby. So how much do you love your mom? I love her a lot, like more than I can. Like, as big as the universe. Yes. All right. Okay, we're going to go to um, Angela. Tell us something about your mom, something that makes her special, special, wonderful to you. I love her. And how much do you love her? Can you show me? I. How much? There you go. Good girl. <laughs> Kelly, we can say something quick. I love my mom a lot because she does, like, literally everything for me. My sister, like, everything. Like, I don't know what I would do without her. It's, it's complicated, but she's my mom, and I love her a lot, a lot, a lot. I love my mom a lot. Whenever I'm going through things, she's, like, the only person I can trust. Would you say your mom is your best friend? Yes, I would. Nice. Are you going to do anything special for your mom for Mother's Day? Yes. What do you guys plan on doing? Plan on, like, giving, like, help her with, like, like a lot of things and just, like, write her a card and, like, say thank you and stuff for everything. Tell me something about your mom that, that she does that you love. Um, she ta she goes like she takes me like, like 
she goes out with me, just like me, and like goes gets my nails done. We go like spend time together and get Starbucks and stuff. Um, out of this world. I can never love her enough than what she deserves. Okay, that's good. Shout out to all the moms out there. Okay, everybody say Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Day. Oh, that's perfect. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you guys for participating in this. We appreciate you guys. And you guys will see you, your guys' selves on, on TV Sunday. on Sunday. Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. 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 Wonderful. Good job, guys. Okay. Thank you for joining. God bless you. I love you guys. Stay safe, guys. Good morning, kids, on Sunday morning. We're going to be doing crafts for Mother's Day, okay? So this is a demonstration of what we're going to do. We're going to cut out a flower of shape of your hand, okay? So I'm going to grab a piece of paper. You're going to get your hand and you're going to draw it. So it's going to look like this. Then you're going to get the scissors or we're going to cut it out. Get your piece of paper. Ta da! You're gonna use the shape of your hand. So now we're gonna make a flower out of it. Get a piece of paper, we're gonna glue it on there. Get some glue. And we have a flower for a Mother's Day. Now we can cut out another hand. You can make it any color you want. And we're going to cut out the hand. Then we're going to draw, we're going to make this flower. Teacher, how did you do this? You get a green piece of paper, we're going to roll it up. Stem for a little bit. Mm -hmm. We got flower. a flower. Flower, good job. And then we could do another shape. Get a paper. Any color you want. And then make a circle. And we have a Mother's Day card. Thank you. Thank you, Francis. That's and wonderful. That's for you kids. I'm going to pass you on to Marianne. Hi, boys and girls. I just was wondering, sometimes we can't think of how to do things. So, this is what I thought. We can make hearts, get a cookie cutter, and then you trace it if you don't know how to make hearts. So that's ready. You can get a little piece of paper, fold it up in half, and then don't cut this side here if you want to make it like a, a little card. Or you could cut it out, and here's your heart. 
Also, you can use a, a cardboard or even a paper plate. Do a circle, okay? And then you fold it in fours. You can make flowers out of it. And two other teachers will show you how to do that. I'm just showing you how to get going on that. And this one here for a circle, any size circle. You just use cookie cutters. Measure your, get a little ruler. You can measure your paper, how much you need. And don't forget, you need scissors and you need a pen or a pencil and glue or tape and these you could make like little um, squirrely things. You could use this to do little stuff too. So you roll it up and you can make stems, you can make all kinds of stuff. Okay? Just directions. Okay, bye. And here will come Amanda and Kathy. Hi guys, so me and Amanda today are gonna show you guys how to make some Mother's Day cards. So we have some that are a little bit 3D, and then like Marianne showed you guys earlier, she has some flowers and these ones have another pop-up ones. So the first step to do this, you're gonna wanna get a plain piece of construction paper. And with that construction paper, you're gonna fold that in half, just like this and you're gonna get another blank piece of paper, like this one. But this one, you're gonna wanna cut it a little bit smaller into like this. So for this one, I made a little bit of a design and this paper is gonna go inside your folded paper in here. So step one and step two. Now your next step is you're gonna fold that paper that's gonna go inside in half, like this. And in order to make this little pop out, we're gonna cut in two cuts in the center of the paper, so it should look like this. And we're gonna put that inside there and make sure this guy comes out. Then when we open it, it's gonna come out. Perfect. And now you have your pop out. And then you just wanna make sure it's all glued in so it doesn't come out and it stays on the paper. And you can put as much glue as you need. That is your first step. And That's then, awesome. I super love that. So the great easy. part is, yeah, it's so easy. She did that so fast. And um, since we're making these for our moms, you can see if you have an older brother or sister, or if your dad or uncle or anybody in the house can help you if there's some part that you have trouble with. But um, like she showed us, it's really easy to get Especially that first part started. Especially with scissors. Make yeah. sure there's an adult and make sure you are being safe. Definitely, we wanna make sure we are. And whatever papers we're using, that they're ones that our parents are okay with us using. Because sometimes, if they have work papers around but they look like the right color, they still might not want to let us use those. And any of these construction papers you can find at CVS, Walgreens, they usually have a little bit, a little packet for $3 of full of construction papers that parents can get for the kiddos so they can work on any projects that you need them to do. Definitely. So now we're going to go with the pop-out flower. So the first step to do that, you're going to cut out a square piece of paper. And when you cut out that square piece of paper, you're gonna turn it into a triangle. Second step. After that, you're gonna bring in these folds up here. Step one. And then bring in the other. Step two. And we're gonna make a tulip, actually. So this is a tulip. And once you have this step done right here, we're gonna bring these folds to the back. So I'm gonna fold it back and then fold it back. 
It's like origami. Yeah, a little calm. This one's a little bit complicated. It has a lot of folding. So once you're done folding those sides, you're gonna snip the bottom like this. So your flower should look about like that. And then the last step is we're making a stem for our flower. So it looks all 3D. So for this step, again, you're gonna wanna cut out a rectangle piece of paper, a little bit longer. And for this part, if you don't have um, a stick like this, you can use a pencil, a pen, anything you have around the house. And we're pretty much gonna put it on the corner of the paper and we're gonna roll it in very tightly. So you should go like this. And you can make it as thick as you want or as little as you want, whatever is more comfortable for yourself. And you just fold, fold, fold. And then when you're done, you slide the stick out and you glue to close the stem. And ta-da, you have a stem. And from this part, to make this a 3D, we're gonna go ahead and glue that into that part where we cut off. We're gonna glue the flower in there. And we're gonna put our stem on the bottom as well. Too long. Alrighty guys, and this should be your final look to it. You can stick it on into the tab that comes out and you have a 3D flower there. And you can put Happy Mother's Day in front, decorate it, and write anything you want in the middle. And ta-da, you're all done. So something that I learned today um, from teacher Marianne that I was super excited about and I get to show you is how to make, we're talking about you know flowers, just a tulip, and then making a flower that in my pop-up, I wanted to have so lots of different colored flowers and these look complicated. I was scared when I first saw it, but it's not that hard. So what you can do is you wanna get a circle of paper and I'm not that good of an artist to make a perfect circle. So you can use little cheats like this. You get a paper plate. You can even do it with um, a cup. If you have like a mug, you can use that to make a perfect circle. Or a bowl. Or a bowl, anything like that. Anything round. Yes, that's a, that does it and it does the work for you. You make it, you cut it out, and then you have your circle. And then this part is the fun part. So then you fold your circle in half like this. And this reminds me of if you've ever made the snowflakes, it's kind of like that. I was really excited to see how mine turned out. So then you fold it in half one more time. And you could either you know, stop here and start cutting your cuts, or if you even wanted to do it, you could fold it one more time even, and it makes even more little shapes and bumps and things like that. I'm gonna stop here on this one just to make it nice and simple so our young ones can do this, or our older ones, if you wanna fold it more, you can do that too. And then you're gonna wanna just cut something into there. So I'm gonna make mine nice and actually I'm gonna do my fancy. I'm gonna add a little extra loop in mine. And then you wanna make sure you cut down a little bit but not all the way because there has to still be some paper that's touching. And then we'll open it up. See, this is like a little like squiggly one. But like I did a, a four leaf clover. Yeah, like a four leaf clover but you can do them with different colors and different shapes. So here are some of the ones that I did. I did a red one. Um, I did this one that looks almost like an icicle. It reminded me of Frozen. This one, I did one that I folded it, and then once it was all folded, I'll kind of show you how I did this one. When it was all folded, I cut around the sides, but then I cut a little bit in the middle at the bottom, and it made this super cool shape. And then I have this one that's a different shape. So what I'm gonna do for my Mother's Day card, I have my inside already all done and I followed um, I followed the instructions to do it just like we saw and you see mom you rock that's what I put for my mom because she rocks and then I did mom on the front but I need an O and I want my flower to be my O that's, that's my such idea. A good idea thank you so I'm going to layer my flowers so I have 
one flower there. I'm going to do another flower on the top, another flower on top of that, and then like this. And I want to glue them all together and then put them in the middle of my mom. So it's the flowers coming out of the mom. So I'm going to glue those together right now and then we'll see how it comes out. So after I did all of my gluing on here and I have, I had a little special gem that I could put on. This is how my front came out. So cute. I am super proud of this because I'm not super artsy. So if I could do it, I know all of our kids that are really crafty could do it even better. And it's really fun to do the different flowers and the different colors. And then when you layer them, it's so pretty. And I know that all the moms will totally love it. Love it. Yes. And so thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you try this out for your moms and you guys have a wonderful Mother's Day today. And we are gonna also close out in prayer. All right, so everybody bow your heads, close your eyes. Okay, um, thank you everyone for this morning, Lord Father God, that you touch all the mothers and all the children, that they'll be safe, Father God. We love you and honor you for all things you do in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day!